Hello guys, today we are going to talk about Karotkov sounds. Now, those of you who have attended workshop one already will already have heard about Karotkov sounds. You may have even read about Karotkov sounds um, in your um, studies, or you may have already been really comfortable and familiar with Karotkov sounds anyway through your own professional practice. But what we're gonna do in this micro lecture is talk about the sounds, what they are, how they're heard, and what this extremely complex image is telling us. Now, when you get to workshop one, you're taught how to use blood pressure cuffs. And when you, if you've never done it before, it can be really complex. So you arrive at the workshops and you're taught all these wonderful skills and you're taught how to put the blood pressure cuff on and how to get the patient comfortable and relaxed and pump it up and feel for a radial pulse and wait till the pulse goes away. Then at some point you're gonna get your stethoscope out and you're gonna place it onto the brachial artery and you're going to listen for the Karotkov sounds. Now it's the Karotkov sounds that you're hearing that actually de determine the blood pressure. So when we say to you, okay, can you go and demonstrate a blood pressure please? It's actually the Karotkov sounds that you're listening for. So you're listening to the sounds that go doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, and that's the Karotkov sound. And what that is, is the sound of the turbulent blood flow as the valves are closing. So you're actually listening for the sound of the blood flow. Now, we've got this complex picture on, in front of us. And I'm not sure if any of you have seen anything similar in your reading, but let's go through this together. So try and imagine the process of blood pressure. You put the cuff on, you pump it up, and then you release the valve and you have the, you have the stethoscope on the brachial artery. And as you're, as you're watching the needle going down like this, you'll eventually see it start flicking and then you'll hear doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. And that's what you're hearing right here at this point. So this is the pressure in the cuff. So on this occasion, you've pumped it up to 130. Now the, the cuff goes up to 300 millimeters of mercury. But on this occasion, you pumped it up to, to 130. Then you release the pressure slowly. It's really faint at this point, but that's your systolic blood pressure that you're hearing just there. As you can see, it's really faint, it's really quiet. As it comes down, much louder, and goes away again. And as you can see here, the louder the sound is represented by the bigger the wave on here. So, just because you're not hearing it, doesn't mean it's not occurring. So as you let, let the air out of the cuff, the, the valves continue to open and close and the, the, uh, the blood is continuing to be turbulent. And as you can see, that's the constant, it's constant, it's always there. This, represent, this line represents the pressure inside the cuff. And you started off at about 130, according to this image, so there's, there's actually a process for it. And then as you release the air, release the pressure, you start to hear the Karotkov sounds. So the take home message for this is, you do need to know the process. You will be taught the process when you get into the workshop. Then as you start to hear the Karotkov sounds, they are very quiet, then they get louder. The first really, really quiet one is the systolic blood pressure. The very, very last quiet one is the diastolic blood pressure. And of course, you guys can read around all of this in your own time, prior to getting to the workshops. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this micro lecture and I hope that it's benefited you some in some way, particularly when you get to the clinical workshops. Thanks guys, you take care.